The Black Friday frenzy. In some cases, it did turn violent. ABC's Lindsay Davis in the thick of it all at a Jersey City Target. Lindsay, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh. Fortunately, no fights broke out at this Target, but it remains packed. And this store has been open since midnight. All the big excitement seems to be about the flat screen TVs. And retail analysts say that this Black Friday, they're at their lowest price point ever. Overnight at this Texas Walmart, pandemonium. I'm a lean, mean Black Friday machine! Outside this North Atlanta Best Buy, dedication. Over 700 shoppers in line. What time did you get here? About 1.45 Wednesday. And just after midnight at this Toys R Us, mass hysteria. Shoppers clamoring for deals. But has the frenzy gone too far? Gunfire reportedly erupted at a Fayetteville, North Carolina mall early this morning. Thankfully, no one was injured. There were a group of um, young men. They started fighting, and then soon afterwards, you heard a popping sound, and there was some shooting going on. And then after that, people just scattered and went everywhere. And in Los Angeles, as many as 20 people were injured when they were doused with pepper spray by a female shopper during a crowd surge. And everybody was just overwhelmed with the smell. Stores had flooded the airwaves for nearly a month, with ads everywhere stoking the fires in anticipation of Black Friday. Call it the first act of the holiday shopping season, as nearly a third of all consumers will hit the mad stores dash, today, wish lists in hand. A TV, a laptop, and a PS3. The reason retailers are doing this is because they believe that there's a limited amount of money in everybody's wallet, and if they can tap that money sooner, they're going to win over somebody else who's not tapping it soon enough. Determined consumers were lining up for deals so good, you could even get a flat screen for your puppy. I'm getting a 42 inch for her room. All across the country, Occupy Wall Street protesters have also been hitting the big box stores, not to shop, as you can imagine, but to protest. And they've also been picketing, uh, say, chanting, boycott Black Friday, it's a gimmick. Lara? All right, Lindsay, thank you very much.